Hey guys, welcome back to another Sonic G IDC SC Biology video. So today we are gonna give you another new chapter today. So it will be chapter 8. Okay, so we need to keep going faster a bit. Okay, so chapter 8 will be transport and plants. Okay, so same thing, we're gonna cover transport and plants, the basic of it. And then 8.2, we're going to have water uptake. And then 8.3, we are going to have uh, transpiration. Transpiration. 8.4 will be translocation. Okay, so let's start with 8.1. It's going to be a very short, ch short chapter, so it wouldn't be taking long this time. Okay, 8.1 will be transport in plants okay remember on plant nutrition we learn about the vessels of the plant where they have xylem and the phloem okay so we go deeper this time okay so xylem the function of it is to transport water and support the stem the stem to keep the plant upright okay so we all know the features of trans uh, of the xylem which it has a one-way flow okay and then everything goes up from the roots to the stomata okay we have the phloem next one okay the phloem is the function of it is to transport sucrose and amino acids. Okay, so again, phloem is a two way flow and it can go up and down. Okay, we're going to talk about them during transpiration and translocation. All right, that's all for 8.1. Okay, 8.2, we have water uptake. Okay, I'm going to do a bit, going to do a bit of drawing right here. Okay. Alright. Um, everything starts off with a root hair cell. Okay. This is the root hair cell. And then we got a bunch of like, don't know what kind of shapes are there, I don't know. Okay, they have some kind of like these shapes. They're all sticking together. And then another different kind of shape. Okay. And then I think now this time it spreads out a bit more. And then below here will be some. Okay. And then in the same time, there's like a hole in the between like that. Yeah. Alright. Everything starts off from this. Okay. It goes to the right. So, this one is called the root hair cell. Okay. And then right here. Is the root cortex cell okay and then here and then right here will be the the xylem vessels uh, where it's between the this line inside between all of those spongy mesophyll cells and then more of spaces between each cells will be the spongy mesophyll cells Okay, the spongy mesophyll cells. Okay, and then whatever things ended here, we have a guard cell. Okay, the guard cell is where it opens up and then closes. Okay, so everything comes from the root hair cell, then to the cortex cell, then to the xylem and to the mesophyll. So what is before root hair cell would be the soil. Okay. Alright. And then okay. 
So the root hair cells, so they absorb water and mineral ions from the soil. Okay, so when it has increase of surface area, there will be an increase of weight of absorption. Is it being absorbed water will be through osmosis okay osmosis and then mineral ions guess what active transport okay so from again from the soil to the root hair cell to the root cortex cell to the xylem vessels the spongy mesophyll cell and whatever comes up the smoke the stomata okay or the gut cells all right, and then the next one we have transpiration. Let me a sec. Okay, transpiration. Okay, I have to delete all of these. Okay, never mind. Okay, eight point three. Transpiration. Okay, As the definition of transpiration will be the loss of water vapor. Okay, extend this again. Okay, so that no space. Okay, loss of water vapor from plant leaves by evaporation of water at the surface of the mesophyll cell. Followed by diffusion of water vapor through the stomata. To remember easy, transpiration is basically the loss of water from the plant itself. Okay, then evaporates to the air. So the water vapor is lost because of mesophyll cells have in a larger surface area okay and then they have an interconnecting air spaces okay and then the stomata okay is increased so water vapor is lost more during that during that time then okay we all know about wilting so wilting is rate of transpiration with this sign rate of absorption of water so it basically lose more water than absorbing water so that is when the, the plant has wilted okay okay and then when it loses water, the leaf becomes flaccid. Okay, all right. So we all know about uh, cohesion and adhesion. So cohesion is basically between water molecules. Okay, and adhesion is basically between water molecules and site of xylem okay so yeah this is inside the transpiration stream okay where the water goes up through osmosis to another cell so it's basically higher concentration of water to the lower concentration and okay, that's why it's osmosis okay we have to move forward a bit Okay, factors which 
increase transpiration rate so definitely the first one would be temperature increase of kinetic energy of h2o molecules that's the explanation and then secondly we have air movement or what we call as wind the explanation would be to remove h2o molecules to maintain a steep concentration gradient thirdly humidity usually it's low humidity and is to decrease concentration of h2o molecules outside again steeper concentration gradient lastly we have light intensity so light intensity is when the stomata opens more water is lost lah. okay so we kind of remember of the what affects the rate of transpiration okay all right so pretty sure we can remember about uh, the graph right that affects rate of transpiration so again r o t will be rate of transpiration and then we got temperature okay for temperature it's going up like a straight line up okay so that's definitely a increase of temperature and then when it has increased temperature then it has an increased rate of transpiration okay and then for humidity so higher humidity will have a higher rate of transpiration and then as it goes down it also decreases so higher humidity equals to higher water vapor this is humidity and then here should be the ro so higher humidity we have a higher water vapor coming out and then equals to lower water potential and lower rate of transpiration okay as it goes down so there's a difference between humidity and temperature okay okay we kind of remember the um, how do we investigate um, transpiration okay how do we investigate transpiration so of course remember Potometer. So the potometer is where it ma measures the rate of water uptake. All right. So if it's not accurate, then it means that some water is being used for photosynthesis. Okay. I'm not gonna draw it because you technically don't have to remember that. You're gonna need you needed to draw the whole photometer. So that's all for just transpiration itself. Okay. So now we will be entering translocation. Translocation. All right. Translocation is basically movement of sucrose and amino acids in phloem by active transport so from regions of production which is the source okay and then to regions of storage or where it uses for in respiration or growth that will be the sink okay some parts can act as a source or sink depending on the seasons okay example summer 
the source will be the leaf the sink will be the flower okay so that's all you have to know about translocation it's the difference of uh, from which sink and source is going into and then translocation is basically a movement of your sucrose and your amino acids from the leaves to regions of respiration growth and storage okay so again that's all for today's video and hope you guys learned something see you in the next chapter bye bye